They're not clowns. They're the whole damn circus. Funny pun! <laughs> Welcome to Ray Run and Does Music, where today we're looking at the second release from the band The Venetia Fair called The Pits. This is the second of three commissions for my friend Kara, and I'm excited to talk about what's next in the trilogy from this eclectic band of boys. The Venetia Fair is known for a manic trend of music that touches on separate parts of alternative rock, some slight post hardcore, and overall alternate or to a tur Hello? Alternative tendencies. Aided with the usual instruments involved as well is the always boundless and enjoyably incomprehensible piano in the background at nearly all times. Headed up by the vocalist Benny, this group of crazed individuals pushes the envelope for what music can be without going into too obscure of a pool on this here release. So let's see what awaits us in... The Pits. <laughs> With this being an EP, I'm going to take my time with each song and talk about them in one way or another to some level of detail, so this starts off with the first song, of course, I'm Still Amazed. When the song kicked in, I was immediately greeted by a more polished sound compared to their original album. They're, they were never as raw as some bands' early projects, but there was a distinct and unmistakable vibe of the band in their early days on their first official full-length outing. Here on the introductory track, we're shared to a story that reads like a dressing down statement from Benny to the subject, mocking them one second by goading them into cooking with fire, then following up with claims of them being a sociopath. Just as he's amazed that this situation is still going on, I'm still partially amazed by the overall polish applied to a song that essentially sounds like going into the production side of things and hitting shuffle on the instruments. While there's a sense of new polish at hand, it's still without a doubt a Venetia Fair experiment in play, but it sounds so much better on the second time around with a crashing piano and guitars that always carry on and never stop. It's, it's just polish all over the place. Next song in and it's more of that good old fashioned fuck you bitch energy with the accusational a lady and a tramp. Instead of a vague situation being described, it seems like there's a definite statement being made. You're a two-faced bitch, but let's make it sound like it's a Victorian. I especially like the line, you're not some winsome misfit speaking up for womankind. Throughout the course of the song, the vocalist continually hammers home that this woman is satisfied playing both sides of the field, but it doesn't make her the goddess she thinks that she is. Nothing wrong with being a slut or being a lady, Yo, get some wiener, it's all good. But it seems like this girl wants both extreme sides of both with no desire of balance, and therefore, therefore creating the conflict within the song structure. While that message, possibly misconstrued by me as well, because, you know, it's all, that's always possible, uh, is up for debate on whether or not it's a discussion to be had in the first place, the song is built with more of the big band aspect around it in an effort to make it flashy, and that pays off in dividends. Next on is my personal favorite from the EP, Some Sort of Siren. We're continuing the album's trend of music about ladies here, except instead of calling her out on some sort of moral crime, we're getting a sense of helplessness or desire to just give in to the sensation she's giving him. I'm gonna fuck up the name, I apologize. Mike Abuso and Charles King put on their best performances of the short album here in what I can only describe as a performance that warrants their cult following for fans of the band. A lot of people cite them to be the real stars of the show in terms of band member against band member. This isn't to discount Chris Constantino on drums or Joe on the keyboard though, with both of them finding a fine-tuned balance between manic saloon music and a modern take on Rhapsody overall. Everybody's doing a great job, it's just, you know, Charles and Mike over here, they're, uh, they're on the Perk 7000s, they're going hard in the paints if you will excuse the phrase. On to the final original song from the band on this album before an all too surprising climax, just wait for it. We have a song that stands as one of, if not the most underrated song on the album. And I truly think that Killing Time is a song that should have landed them bigger chances than what they got. It's honestly a crime we didn't hear the band perform this on the Journey stage at the Now Dead Warp Tour alongside other scene heavyweights like All Time Low, because this is the soundtrack to a manic, multicolored hair wearing emo kids day out on the town. Or if, or if you're going to Warp Tour day out in the uh, field of grass, discarded cigarette butts, and for some reason metal shards. Finally, re we reach the end and it's a definitely fitting end of the album for a band like the Venetia Fair. Here we see a cover of <laughs> You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. And it's everything you'd expect from a band like this, with enough sticking to the core formula and structure with an effortless amount of adaptation to keep it in line with their sound. I honestly don't know what to say about this besides the fact that it, it absolutely should not work but it does. So not only do I think that the Venetia Fair deserved a better reaction from the scene than what they got with their brains for innovation and of course the musical talent and practice, 
This EP is proof of that argument in action. Despite the lower song count, despite the quicker album run time, this EP takes the initial ideas that the first album from the band put out into the world, doubles down on them, makes them even better, and just creates a more definitive case for the Venetia Fair being one of the most underrated bands in the... I can't remember when this album came out for some reason and my laptop is slow as hell. Whenever the fuck they were out, point being they should have got more love. I can safely say that I enjoyed this more than the debut, meaning that The Pits by Venetia Fair, by Venetia Fair, gets a 7.8 out of 10. And that's your review. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. These reviews were written a little while ago and I kind of forgot about them because my brain was doing the super bad KMS stuff. Not good. So the third album review is coming, but it's, it's going to be just a little bit while I have other reviews that I had written before I realized these were sitting in the closet. Long story short, the third album review is coming for the Venetia Fair. Just, just, give, just give me a sec. I'm doing my best. Give me a sec. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're staying hydrated. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.